Psalm 132 Lord, remember David and all his trouble, how he swear unto the Lord and vowed a vow unto the Almighty God of Jacob. I will not come within the tabernacle of mine house, nor climb up into my bed. I will not suffer mine eyes to sleep, nor mine eyelids to slumber, neither the temples of my head to take any rest, until I find out a place for the temple of the Lord, and habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. Lo, we heard of the same at Ephrata, and found it in the wood. We will go into his tabernacle, and fall low on our knees before his footstool. Arise, O Lord, into thy resting place, thou and the ark of thy strength. Let thy priests be clothed with righteousness, and let thy saints sing with joyfulness. For thy servant David's sake, turn not away the face of thine anointed. The Lord hath made a faithful oath unto David, and he shall not shrink from it. Of the fruit of thy body shall I set upon thy throne. If thy children will keep my covenant and my testimonies that I shall teach them, their children also shall sit upon thy throne for evermore. For the Lord hath chosen Zion to be an habitation for himself. He hath longed for her. This shall be my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I have a delight therein. I will bless her victuals with increase, and will satisfy her poor with bread. I will deck her priests with health, and her saints shall rejoice and sing. There shall I make the horn of David to flourish. I have ordained a lantern for mine anointed. As for his enemies, I shall clothe them with shame, but upon himself shall his crown flourish. Psalm 133 Behold, how good and joyful a thing it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head that ran down unto the beard, even unto Aaron's beard, and went down to the skirts of his clothing. Like as the dew of Hermon, which fell upon the hill of Zion. For there the Lord promised his blessing and life for evermore. Psalm 134 Behold, now praise the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, ye that by night stand in the house of the Lord, even in the courts of the house of our God. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and praise the Lord, the Lord 
that made heaven and earth give thee blessing out of Zion. Psalm 135 O praise the Lord! Lord, ye the name of the Lord. Praise it, O ye servants of the Lord, ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. O praise the Lord, for the Lord is gracious. O sing praises unto his name, for it is lovely. For why? The Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. Whatsoever the Lord pleased, that did he in heaven and in earth, and in the sea and in all deep places. He bringeth forth the clouds from the ends of the world, and sendeth forth lightning with the rain, bringing the winds out of his treasuries. He smote the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and beast. He hath sent tokens and wonders into the midst of thee, O thou land of Egypt upon Pharaoh and all his servants. He smote diver nations and slew mighty kings. Sion, king of the Amorites, and Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, and gave their land to be an heritage, even an heritage of unto Israel, his people. Thy name, O Lord, endureth for ever. So doth thy memorial, O Lord, from one generation to another. For the Lord will avenge his people and be gracious unto his servants. As for the images of the heathen, They are but silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths and speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, and yet they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. They that make them are like unto them, and so are all they that put their trust in them. Praise the Lord, ye house of Israel. Praise the Lord, ye house of Aaron. Praise the Lord, ye house of Levi. Ye that fear the Lord, praise the Lord. Praised be the Lord out of Zion, who dwelleth at Jerusalem. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.